Hey, it's Coolio, if you don't know, and it is time for The Long Run. And um, so last time we finished one game and we didn't really finish the other one, but the other one is kind of a pain in the face to finish. And of course, Jewel is going to redeem Hydrate right after I start the recording. So hang on a second. Ah, so, uh, with that, and if you, if someone redeems Stretch and Posture, I'm going to do it after my intro. <laughs> Just saying. Um, so yeah, we, uh, we're going to start on a new game. Uh, I will probably be coming back to ukulele at some point in the near future and just kind of finish everything off. But honestly, it's kind of a pain in the face to actually get everything. So I'm not going to worry too about it too much. And you shouldn't either because you don't really get all that much for um, finishing. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the mainstream. There's nothing there right now, but there will be in a second. Um, also press that button. So this uh, game today, the game that used to be called Secret Legend. It's also piping to the wrong audio source. Give me a second. It's now called Tunic. Um, let me get the audio situated here. There we go. So, um, yeah, we're going to be playing Tunic. I didn't want to uh, play through it too quickly. Um, after the release of the game because this is an indie project so i do want people to actually discover the game and whoever is going that whoever is going to play it will have played it type of thing but i did do like a first two hour stream a while back when it came out so now we're going to play the whole thing and i did not actually uh finish the game so part of this, like maybe like the last third or the last half or so, is going to be blind. But uh, I kind of know what to expect, um, yeah, at least in some uh, areas here. I will try to limit what I use to, well, you'll see. I will, I will limit myself to a certain mechanic. Not going to read the text. Well, I mean, some th this text is not uh, something that is very easy to read. Really, little fox. I'm going to do some fox thing. Oh, that's conspicuous. That also looks conspicuous down there. What's up with that? Hmm. I'm guessing that's empty. Oops. Okay, so dodge roll is A. The, gr the green bar appears to be a stamina gauge. We got a stick. Um, there we go. Swinging that stick. Don't think you're going to have a whole lot of luck trying to put into Google Translate. I will say, however, 
there is a translator that exists for this game. Hmm. I'm going to be able to go through here. Uh, left trigger. Okay. Sorry, I it's using Xbox controller terms, and I'm using the Switch Pro controller, so. But yes, targeting. Hero's Grave. Locked. Hmm. I read that sign, or at least try to read it. Ow. Town. All right. Well, that's blocked off. Well, that looks like a save point. Or a checkpoint of some kind. What's this? Okay. Are we dead? What is this place? Are we, are we ascending to see God or something? Open up. Open up. What about these things? Okay. And now it'll open up. Oh, well, end of the road. Can we keep going? Walking on thin air. Let's go. What is this? Hello? Who are you? Are you God? Possibly Goddess? Hi. I'm looking for a way out? I guess. Uh, so did any of that just happen? Sealed forever. Well darn. I don't know what just occurred there. Oh, it sure looks like a key. That's a little overview of uh, this area, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to go anywhere right now.
Oh, you do have one place to go, probably. Get out of my way. That does seem to work. What is this? Hero's Grave? What is this? Be getting your adventure. In a far off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some say it is the power to defy death. So, wait, what was that like a god or something? Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. We got health points, stamina points, and apparently magic points. Alright. Uh, prize slash treasure. So, this is basically what we're looking at here. This is the instruction manual for the game. It is scattered throughout the world. We're going to have to find it page by page. Well, whatever was here, someone looted it. There's this little path here. Ooh, chest. Oh, fox duder. Not really sure what that does. Ah. Uh... Okay. First printed manuals, then they switch to digital versions. Now we have to find the pages in the game, and they're mostly not even in English. Ooh, money. At least I assume that's money. That looks very money ish. East Forest. All right. East Bell Tower. AG and a KG. Release. Alright, so left trigger is for targeting, right trigger is for shield, right bumper is apparently for potion. I suppose we have to find them first. Left bumper is for equipment, we've already established, left stick is to move. A is for um, dodging possibly other stuff. So this is Check page 13, we should have that now, too. Ah! So use it to dodge, but if we hold it, we get to run. Mew. What's down here? Mm, maybe I want to check up first. Hmm. Well, that looks important. I'm going to be able to get up there, though. But I guess we got to go down.
Oof. East Forest. Now. Now these guys are rough. Another page. Oh, left trigger target lock. Face your adversaries. Focus and evade. Focus and block. Uh, stamina points. Something, something. Stamina points. Zero SP. You can always attack even without stamina. Moment of safety. So check for dust. While there is dust, we are invulnerable. Stability flinch, knocked over. Stability 25% HP. Not really sure what that means, but I'm guessing that means we want to avoid our stamina going below 25% if at all possible. Oh, geez. Lots of dudes here. What's in here? Fortunately, these guys, not too much of a problem. Aha! Them's dodging skills. New. Gimme. What's in here? What? Leave me alone. I want whatever's. I want whatever's in this box. Ooh. All right. So we have a potion now, which we can use with right bumper. I don't know if it'll restore us to full, but uh, we don't have a whole lot of maximum health right now. Actually, is there anything over here? Nope. Hmm. Doesn't look like we can access anything else here. Oh, run for it, jerk. And what's in here? A berry of some kind. So I guess I can use these. That seems to restore health, possibly. I gave us money. I feel like maybe I want to wait before I do that again. Because why would it just give me money? Oh, these guys are rough. Probably punching a little over my weight class here, but we're going to give this a try. Ooh. What's in here? Really? All right. I'm going to restore my health. Oh, 
Also, important to point out, using the statue respawns monsters. A little overlook here. It's a little scenic view. Hero's grave. I'm taking the scenic tour. It's in here. Uh, now I'm gonna get to find out. Not yet. Path to Hero's Grave. Now, stop that. Oh, geez. You can shoot at me, and I don't want that. Kind of low on health. Ah. Uh, no. Wait, where am I? Where am I in relation to the world here? Ow. I am dead in relation to the world. Okay, now we're just straight up dead. So are we going to go meet God? I'm starting to think this is God. I am dead. Hmm. I'm curiously not dead anymore. What's their deal? Guess they weren't kidding about the, the power to defy death. Now remember all that money that we dropped when we died? Well, you know, same sort of deal as games such as Dark Souls. Things like that. We find our corpse and get our money back. Unfortunately, the, the corpse was up here, and I poked it from down here, so it didn't auto-attract. The money is usually pretty good about auto-attracting to you, but you need, you need to have been within a certain range of it for that to happen. There's a switch there. Okay, what am I missing? I can come up here, but then what? I'm probably missing something super obvious, and if that is the case, I apologize. I might have done this before, but that doesn't mean I remember anything about it. Can I go around here? Ah, okay. Ah, uh, that's just me being a derp. Big ol' switch.
Ooh. Um. I mean, hope you don't mind if I borrow this, buddy. I uh, kind kind of need it to do things. Now I can slice. Things do kind of get in the way while they're bouncing around, but uh, they don't stay bouncing around for very long. So, that gives us access to a bunch of new stuff, right? Sword? Okay. Uh, actually, before I deal with you, I'm going to go save. Ooh, you don't like that. You don't like that one bit. Hey, buddy. Ah, uh, didn't get to sneak up on you there. Got a little too close. Hello. I also don't get to knock him off cliffs, which is sad. I like these switches. Nice and big and chunky. Guardhouse 1. I think we were in that bottom part before. Bonk. Ah, that gives us a uh, way back down. What is this? Well, it shows up at the top there, underneath our, I assume, money. Hey, buddy. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is not going well. That very much did not go well. I assume that the thing that happened before just happened again. So we just kind of keep getting revived. Also, here's something you can do with your corpse. Use it for damage. Ah! Oh, right. I want to do a little something here. So, let's do 
the first channel prediction. Including the guard boss that we're faced with right now, how many bosses are we going to fight today? Might be a little bit low stakes because of the fact that there's not a whole lot of people in chat, but yeah, we give it a few minutes. Oh, I'm not good at this. Okay. Not sure if this is what we're meant to be doing right now, but that's what I'm doing. Ha-ha! Gotcha. So basically, a boss in this game, as I am defining it, is anything with its health bar enlarged in the bottom right. For the purposes of the prediction. All right, got ourselves another health potion. Not gonna be able to get anywhere else in there though. At least I don't think so. Let me, let me take another look here because why else would we have done this? Oh, wait, over here. Aha, all right. Also, just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and chug one of those potions. I'm gonna take a couple of hits, gotcha. Ooh, What's this doodad, ring strike. I have a feeling that said something along the lines of to ring the bell, you strike the bell. That's fancy. The game is often nice enough to give us paths going back to places we've already been. Anything over here? Ooh, yes, there is. Ah. Oh. Okay. What is that? They make it a pain for me to travel old territory. Yeah, exactly. Uh, these guys will just go down. Hmm. 
East Forest. And there's a manual page over here. Oops. What do we gotta say? Overworld. Alright. Under the well. I'm guessing that's where we're going. Yeah, because there's a place there that says well, page 29. Also, I love how this manual will occasionally have like little bits of handwriting in it. Which makes me think that um, uh, while he was making this game, uh, Andrew, who is the guy who made it, Andrew Shaldus, probably actually printed, uh, like he made his manual, printed it out, wrote in it, and then scanned it back in. And we're back to here, which is still sealed forever. But now we should have access to a couple of new places. Oh, and by the way, um, that manual also updates itself. If you, if you look right under where it says page 29, see a little fox symbol? If we are in the area that the, um, the map shows, it will actually show us where on the map we are. So there is a dollar sign here. What's, what's the deal with this? Yeah. Oh. I grab this bottle. All right. So we have discovered our shop. More Estes flasks. Yeah, exactly. There's a little preview of an upcoming area here, but uh, don't seem to have any way to get there quite yet. Obviously showing a way that we can get back from there. Hey, buddy. There we go. I'm not done dealing with you guys, huh? Jeez. So many hostile forces. I'm just trying to get this manual page. So for a low on stamina, we take 150% damage, we can't block, our stability is low, and we can't use special tech. Casually murdering a while. I didn't know you could zoom in like that. Alright, well I guess it makes sense. Just so you can see all the little details. I mean, look at that. That that was done with ballpoint pen. You can't tell me it wasn't. Sword, stick, shield, bomb. Three kinds of bomb. 
keys, fruits, hot pepper, and ivy. Attack and spell points. Effigy, lore, golden coin. More on page 20 about those. Um, magic potions. It says something about checkpoint. Probably that they will refill if we hit a checkpoint. And something about the flower that we got. Also, if I had to guess, that shard of something that we got is actually a piece of a potion bottle. Magic items. Magic points. Note, holy cross, something. They say that if you throw enough bombs, you'll get a prize, so don't be afraid to use them. Interesting. All right. Oh, geez. You're excited. Let's not die. Ting. Well, hitting that doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, but maybe we found something? Perhaps secrets? Perhaps not. It almost seems like there should be something here, but uh All right. Let's see what's down here. All right. We got some flowers. And a couple of bombs. I wonder if we were to use a bomb in that one spot that I was just in, or there didn't seem to be anything. So, that flower was not mentioned in the manual so far. Uh, let's go ahead and equip the bomb. Can I equip these? No. Oops. Also to note, when you're in this menu, the game does not pause. So you can switch your inventory uh, in the middle of combat. Just be aware that the game doesn't pause. That apparently did something. Oh, down there. Because I think that opened up. Oh, geez. Another one of you guys. Fortunately, you have been dispatched. Have a nice day. Let's go deal with you real quick. You guys do not seem friendly. I would rather you didn't sneak up on me. So I'm going to sneak up on you. Oh, this guy's coming up. You better get the party started. Oh, geez. Another one of these excited guys. You're not as excited. That's fine. What's in here? 
Uh, oh. Four bombs. All right. Okay, so that opens that up. And there's what I assume is another piece of potion bubble. This door is still locked. Pro probably not sealed forever. Oh, that brings us back over here. All right. What about you? Still sealed forever. Let's go hit that save point. Also, give me just a second. I wasn't sure if I had this game set up to be full screen or not, so I had my stuff on another monitor. But uh, this game is not set to full screen because I usually don't full screen games. There we go. All right. So that's back to the East Forest. See what else I can discover here. Maybe over here. If I can cut. Aha. No. I think we've already been here. We have not, however, been down there. Take a nice beachside stroll. Let's look at this skull over here. Well, this looks exciting. Throwing a bomb at it doesn't do anything. This definitely looks important, but what what do? We can't interact with this. No. Ooh, almost missed that. Forty eight monies.
there is going to be some wandering in this game. Sometimes it's really just the only way. Now I'm back here. Hmm. I'd say the well is probably where we want to go because we have the map for that, but how do we get there? Hmm. Huh? Yes. Music is doing some interesting things right now. Mom doesn't do anything here. I don't know what this is. I actually a legit don't know. Like I, I did not. The cube seems to move toward you. I don't know that it was. Also, we destroyed that sign. Oh no. Anyway. That's where the shop was. But yeah, I uh, I didn't use a whole lot of bombs in my original incomplete playthrough, so there are still many secrets that I don't know about. Ooh. Oh, geez. I'm going to. Ow, 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 ow. That was exciting. Ding. Ding. It's over here. Hi. I'm gonna guess that I'm not really gonna be able to deal with you right now. Another one of those turrets down there. Come on. There we go. Oh, you totally saw me. Don't pretend you didn't. You and your fancy shield. Oh, geez. I mean, that works. Ding.
Huh. I got a card. Okay, well that seems to go there. So that's probably some sort of stat bonus. I'll have a shield someday. Now another one of those statuettes. And I kind of want to take that off. Okay, hang on. There we go. I, all I know is that I get money from breaking those, but I'm dubious about the fact that I just get free money. Oh, hey. So you're sitting on a key over there. I'm going to guess I'm not going to be able to just pick that up while you're there. Oh, geez. Those turrets. Huh. You know what? This kind of looks like that big door that is sealed forever. I wonder if it is related. Oh, geez. Oh, that was in range. All right. You're out of bombs, though. That could be a problem. So it's a doll of us. What's the deal with that? I mean, if if you know, don't spoil it. I do, I do need, I, I, I do know about maybe about half of the things in this game. I'm just feigning ignorance for the sake of drama, drama, drama. Drama, lamb, a ding dong. Uh. Oh. Oh. Turns out we could have gone down here the entire time. Sometimes you just need to be observant. Actually, come to think of it, I'm going to go back there, because that is the shop. Or what I assume is like one shop in this game. He made of bombs. Looks like we can buy multiples. And I'm just going to stick with the three.
Also, I was wondering for a second there, looking at Chad, like, Jewel has a one next to her name and Zero has a two. And I was like, what does that mean? Then I remembered, oh, right, channel prediction. <laughs> This is actually the first channel prediction for this channel, so. We have a nine instead. Nine! Hmm. Yeah, that's still blocked. Hmm. You know what? I wonder if I can deal with that uh, large friendly fellow with bomb. I mean, that took care of a shield. Can I can I use the shield? No. Okay. There we go. Now we have a key. Key to the old house. I just have to remember where the old house is. Oh, it's right here. A single money food. That leads to over here. Well, I was just talking about can I use a shield? Turns out now I can. Hey, look at that. Oh, wrong button. E Open this up. I wonder how you open that. Okay. You get some sort of fang. Actually, what's the other way? Dip. And I'm not in there. If there if there is a waterfall, there is something behind the waterfall, right? Oh once again showing us that we could have gone here the entire time without that key. Oh well. Oh hi. Oh you're you're friendly. Alright. What is behind here? Camera please. Okay. Looks like, looks like a very sacred place. Give y'all a uh, proper mariner's funeral here. Come on. There we go. Yep. Well, you're just going to be stuck in space forever. Sorry. Game's not perfect. 
Uh, you know what? It's in this box. Hey, buddy. I got some hot peppers, which I think are meant to increase attack. Aha! You may have the high ground, but I have the moral high ground. Hmm. Oh boy. I don't want to deal with you. What does this say? Danger. Hmm. All right. Oh, right. Could I use a shield? Uh, let's see if we can do anything in here. Dark tomb. Oh my goodness. Uh, maybe we don't want to be here. Oh, you look big. You look big and imposing, and I probably have just died. I really need the candle from the palace. Apparently. All right, let's go back to the old house. Ow. Oh, looks like we didn't go here. I got some monies. Another one of these buddies. Some money. Interesting. I wonder if that's significant in any way. Can we go down here? We can. Oh, that looks unfriendly. Oh, this looks very unfriendly. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Super danger. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. Might be able to deal with that with uh, some well placed bombular activity. Whoa, geez. Ow. I think we've already established, Jewel, that I am bad at blocking and dodging. It took me how long to actually start using uh, dodge rolls in uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land? Oh, 
No, I don't think we can go there. There's something more against this wall or that wall. Pays to be curious, though. What is this? I have no idea. Are these buttons? Are these pedestals? So now what are we not doing this time? That's right, going into the dark tomb without some sort of light source. Oh. Oh, geez. Well, that was rough. Ow. I think we might be out of its range here. Let's go ahead and open this up before we die. There we go. How do we get that? Well, I know what that says. Oh, we'll find out what this says. Hmm. Attack, defense, HP, potion. Go to a statue. A checkpoint, left bumper, select the thing, and I guess it powers up. Oh no, health points, but if we die, it's okay. Uh, you can do it. Garden Knight, try to be this strong. So we need three attack and three defense. Echo of self. Okay, so that's just telling us about recovering our uh, our corpse, basically. I'm gonna open this up. Let's see if we can make our way back to the statue. Aha! Yes, offer. So this will upgrade something. If I had to guess, it's probably attack. Actually, the game just told us, so I don't need to guess. Attack 2. Yeah, so the little doll is going to be defense. Right? That was telling us? No. This is something else entirely. Okay. Uh, that's going to be 
potion, I want to say. Yes. And that is HP. Didn't mean to do that, but okay. That's fine. It does take money though, so something important to note. We've upgraded our HP. Only by half a segment. That's a bit of a drag. Now I'm guessing this won't give us a potion, but it probably makes potions more effective. Into the water with you. Not that you'll stay there. Now, is this area going to be dark? I was worried there for a second because it was dark, but uh, now we're beneath the well now. I might have known ahead of time that that was going to explode. Hmm. It's weird that there's a bit of an ascension there, but whatever. Got another, was that potion? Swarm auto bolt. Wants to protect something, but what? Circle around and use the shield. Swarm, a type of slime who just wants to be close to you. Stun it by blocking. Good to know. Aha! Waterfalls, concealed treasure. You'll occasionally get uh, Foxy Fox here looking at something interesting, even if you don't see it. How do we get that? Uh, probably from the next room. Ah, manual. Looks like page 34 here. Envoy, more questions than answers. Crabo. Crabo has a hard shell, but Crabbit has uh, has pals. Usher, a friendly bird that loves to eat swarms. This is an entire different area here. Also, what's going on over here? Musical notes. Also, bird a bird. Look at that bird. Bird don't give a crap. The frogs don't mean. So I'm training. They take turns attacking. Well equipped. I always try to say that three times. Baby slurm. You cannot spin yet, but is still useful. All right. Grown-ups have uh, hooks on their tongues. Hmm. 
Now, if we go here, oh. Let me get that. <clears throat> Possibly worth mentioning that you cannot dash while you're in the water, especially the swamp water or the sewer water. Or any sort of gross water. But I think water in general. Another uh, turret there. Also, there's something over there. Which worries me. I see an exclamation marks pop out of nowhere. That means trouble. this up so we don't have to deal with that turret anymore if we perish which we probably will another one of these uh glowy lines aha chain reaction coming at you Maybe those uh, glowy blue things have something to do with magic. Also interesting, question mark. There's possibly something beyond the, um, the waterfall, but what? Ooh. Another card, but what does it do? Well, right now, I kinda like the card that I have that's making hearts fall out. Oh geez, y'all y'all have shields, all of you. There we go. Managed to do that without taking a hit. How do I get you? Can I go under here? Yes, I can. Money. Gonna stay away from whatever's lurking in this water. There we 
There is this chest though. And I've already fallen now, so I'm stuck dealing with this. Oh my goodness. Alright. So that's what we're dealing with. I'm guessing that I have to approach from like over there. I wonder what what it what there is down there. Because apparently there's something. But let's open this up first. Actually, now that this is open, let's go save. That is going to reset the enemies, but it's also going to reset our health and our potions, so I'm going to call that a win. Um, we don't have enough monies. To upgrade potions, so I have to come back for that. Ooh, I think that's the fence, though. Could definitely do with some defense. Uh, yes. Defense is two. Oh. Oh, that's just the uh Oh geez. Y'all like doing that. These are all gonna be alive. Like one hundred percent. Hopefully this is worth it. Um, I think these are frost bombs. Let's see if we can find something worthwhile to throw these at. Okay, so that puts us over here. What's your deal? Oh, we got a lantern. I ain't taking a second here. Come on. Eh. Manual page. Let's see what we can find out. So, under the well and beneath the earth. Now that's a dark tomb. Fortress of the Eastern Vault. Yeah, 
Interesting. Where are we now? I'm not seeing us on the map right now. I'm going to tag this. I think that takes us straight to the Dark Tomb, which now we should be a lot better equipped to actually deal with. I think this is the sort of spike that if you step on it, that's when it comes out. I saw you there with your glowing eye. Is everything alive in here? Everything is alive, even the things that are dead. Come down here. There we go. There's a chest up there. Hmm. Broken staircase. Oh. I see. If you look at the manual here. There are some arrows. Aha! Don't think that's going to let us get that chest just yet. But we can move forward. Oh, hey, all right. And in this chest, we find another card. Sword ring. Uh, wrong button. I don't know what these things mean. I may lament my life choices from going away from the, uh, from the heart card there. I'm gonna guess don't cross the lasers.
What's in the box? Don't cross the streams. Um, yeah, these are probably fire bombs. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and equip those. Well, that didn't work out. I was right that those are firebombs, though. <laughs> if I can get your attention without throwing a bomb. Ooh, I think that's three. Yeah, look at that. So we got an additional potion. Aha! Using the traps to our advantage. Yeah, so that goes there, but there's a chest over there, and I want it. I want the treasure. Now, of course, they can also use traps to their advantage. Fortunately, we didn't fall into it. This time. Yeah, so it just takes a single hit to actually break those. Oh, geez. You're, uh, you're kind of strong, aren't you? Okay. Here's some money. It's out here. Oh. Oh, this room does not look friendly at all. So there is a range limit to how far these lasers go. And they can be blocked by random debris. And that's all. Mm. Well, that's quite lovely. Oh, the big old door over here. Let's see if there's anything else over here that we might have missed. There's that door, but uh, let's go see what's outside. At least it looks like a, this is not outside. Can, however, get this chest. Ooh, the defense effigy. This is outside. It's up there. It's another one of those uh, 
bell towers, I guess. It's this West Garden. We have a map for that, don't we? West Garden. That this. Not seeing myself on the map, so it's probably not this. Well, let's go take a look around. It's West Garden. And that's what it says. Here lies the... Wait a minute, what? I thought the hero's grave was back in the, uh, the East Forest. What's the deal with that? So let me figure out how to open those. Can we afford? Yes, we can. All right, defense of three. All right, well, um, we're getting to about that time, I think. All right, I'm gonna push this button. We're gonna go on break. So some interesting um, exploration going on so far. Still got a fair amount of uh, exploration left to go. And we still got two hours to find out how many more bosses I'm going to beat. Or not necessarily just beat. How many are we going to face? If we face two more bosses, whether or not we beat them, then zero wins. And if not, then Jewel wins. And anyone else who might have quietly voted at the beginning of the stream. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go break. So take a moment to get yourself something to drink, go to the bathroom, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall reconvene and explore some more of this world in Tunic. So I'll see you in a bit.